My name is Joshua, aka Queen Absolute, back with another video. Apologies if I cough or, s or like snuffle, like, or do, do anything like that, okay? Because I have a cold. Don't worry, it's not corona time. Anyway, today uh, we're going through part three, part three of my Queen, Queen collection. If you didn't know, we are re- doing over our queen collection with a better quality camera with my phone camera because my original video was on like a really low quality webcam and yeah i just wanted to showcase my things in a better quality so yeah i've already done my vinyl and i've already done my books uh which you can check out hopefully up there yeah definitely up there but uh without further ado let's get on to the cds today we're doing the cds so first we're going to go through all the unofficial releases that i have i have four of them i brought these a few years ago because i didn't know they were unofficial all i wanted to do as a child was just collect everything queen and yeah and i started getting these not realizing that they were unofficial it's stupid of me to do that, but okay. So we're gonna start with Tales from the Other Side. This is a B-side collection from 2001. It says it's from Japan, but I think it's Russia or something. It's also made by apparently EMI, but I looked on Discogs and it was apparently a fake company pretending to be EMI. So yeah. But um, it is a nice, a nice, nice overall, I would say, even though it's unofficial. But uh, it comes with an OBI slip here. And this is it without the slip. Uh, here's the back with all the track listings. Uh, it's nice gate folds gate folds out as well and it has like the hot space faces so i like that a lot um and then here it's just it's like a little inner sleeve it's got a picture of freddy at live aid and on the back it has uh, the tracks and information about it is here as well this is quite a nice thing even though it's unofficial the annoying thing about this one is that it wouldn't actually play on my cd player uh, there's something wrong with it and it wouldn't play so i think it's because uh my cd player is like uh region like region only in the uk i don't i don't know what it's called but it's region something but you can only play uk cds in that i don't know but i tried it on my xbox and i could play it on my xbox but i didn't i don't know if i want to turn it on my xbox and all that just to play a CD, so I don't know. And then here is like a nice like fold out poster. Nice like long fold out poster of all the lyrics for all the tracks. So that's nice, I guess. So overall, this is quite a nice unofficial release, I would say. But again, it's unofficial. And yeah, I don't, I don't really want to get any more of these, to be honest. Next, we have uh, Queen Final Entertainer. This is the Horizon Rosemont Chicago, Illinois, September 9th, 19th, 1980 performance promoting the game album. I am thinking, but this is one of my favorite unofficial releases, probably my favorite unofficial release because I've only got four. And I would definitely pick this one out of all of them. Yeah, so here's the front. It's got a nice... I like the front a lot as well. It's got a nice picture of Freddie uh, with the guitar. And then on the, on the back, uh, it's got another pi nice picture as well. And the two CDs and the track listing. Then it has like a nice fold-out thing here. Yeah, and it also has a nice little thing on the... Uh, who Queen are basically. We all know who Queen are, but yeah. 
I thought we'd have a book let us think in there, but this is just like a card thing that you can't actually rip it open at all. It's just like stuck onto there. Uh, but they have really nice pictures inside there. I really like one of Freddy and other nice pictures here as well. Then you pull out this. There's a nice little inner sleeve here. Um, and I see these inside here, obviously. And CD2 is exactly the same, so I'm not really going to show you that. But it says it's got golden eggs on the front, so. It hasn't got any artwork on the front, really. It's just got their branding on the front. But it's still a very, a very nice unofficial release. I really like the fold out and the pictures used on there as well. Next, we have the worst thing I've ever purchased in my whole life. The main letdown for this thing is the cover because it's actually the worst thing ever. You can't really see it that much, but you can see how pixelated this is. This like little outside bit is like really low quality. It's, lit it's awful, it's awful. Then we have the back with the track listing. The songs on it are mostly like uh, uh, Smile and Larry Lorax. And apparently, misfire it has misfire on it apparently but it's not misfire it's like an instrumental thing yeah but you can still hear the vocals i mean like who does that who does that and then we have going back remix let me just tell you the going back remix is a slowed down version of going back that ha that no and i do not recommend this to anyone here's the inside Uh, the disc is good, I guess. There's a nice picture of Queen with the Queen here. Yeah. Then we have the booklet, also another picture of Queen with the Queen, and then you pull the booklet out and it has a picture of Freddy here. So I guess that's nice as well, but I don't know. Then we have a picture of Freddy again, but it's in a different language. That's like a little thingy at the bottom, I don't, I don't even know. And then we have... Some really bad booklet design a strap look, look at this a strap they stretch the picture of freddie mercury to fit the booklet that's how bad it gets guys and we have a low quality picture of freddie mercury yeah so don't don't just just don't buy this book book don't buy this cd just don't and last but not least we have queen preordained this is basically queen in noose but it's like, uh, better. Again, it's got Larry Lorax tracks and Smile. Oh, uh, here's the inside. It's just a normal jewel case. And then we have like a two page book. Um, here's the back with just like a little track listing. The front's okay, but they stretch all of the pictures of the band members' faces, like. Yeah, you could have used a better, something better than just stretching their faces. And then have the disc. Quite decent. And if you take out the disc, there's another picture of that Freddie Mercury image. So yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Right, so on to the official releases here. First we have the first we have Queen, the 2011 Digital Remaster. Don't have the original. Don't have the, well, the... It's not original, but they didn't release an original one, obviously. But I don't have the 1994 remastered version, whatever. But I'd rather have this version, to be honest, because it's remastered, obviously. Uh, here's a book like that. There's some nice artwork inside. I don't think I'm going to go through all of the artwork and all of these albums, because I'll be here for eons. Yeah, the booklets are nice, that's what I can say, yeah? Um, and the disc. And we've got a nice cream logo underneath. Next we have Queen 2, this is the 1994 digital remaster, so this is not the original. The cover looks a bit like weird and washed, I don't know. Uh, here's a booklet. Has a nice picture here. And here are the 
just got like a thingy of all the others to collect. I don't think I'm going to go through any of the others now. I'm just going to fire through it. Okay, so this is the Sheer Heart Attack 2100 Tree Master. Okay, see inside. Queen and Art at the Opera 2011 Digital from Master. This is the Deluxe Edition with the bonus EP. This is the inside. It's got an. I like the design for the CDs. And, and then you put it back. And then here's the bonus EP. The Day at the Races 2011 Digital Master. Here's the inside again. Nicely presented again. Then we have Queen News at the World, the 2011 Digital Remaster. Again, nicely presented. Then we have Jazz, the 2CD Deluxe Edition 2011 Digital Remaster for the bonus EP. So here's the inside. This is actually isn't like a pull-out thingy. Uh, it's like it's got one under the other, which is a bit weird. I don't know why they didn't do it like normally live killers this is the hollywood records one released in america obviously hollywood i thought you'd understand that but yeah oh no oh no that isn't okay here's the inside oh i, I did want to get the uk version but my mom for my birthday. I just put on my birthday list that I wanted to get live killers. And she just got the American version by accident. Next we have the game, the 2011 Digital Remaster. This has like a nice shiny effect on it on the back and the front. I really like that. Here's the inside. Pretty generic, but very, very nice nonetheless. Next we have Flash Gordon, the original soundtrack by Queen. The, the 40th anniversary but blue uh, 4k box set came out this year actually and uh yeah i wanted to pick it up but it was too much money so sadly i couldn't get it here's the inside uh looking nice looking nice next we have queen greatest hits this is the first ever queen cd i got so this is pretty nostalgic for me i guess but it's as it's my first queen cd obviously it's disgustingly disgusting i threw this thing all over the place so you hear that that is the sound of broken the booklet is creased as anything Surprisingly, the CD is actually fine. It doesn't have any scratches on it. Next, we have Hot Space. Hot Space. Uh, 2011 Digital Master. For some reason, this is really scratched on the back. I don't know why. If I could hold it up to light, it's like scratched. I don't know what's going on with that. I didn't get it that long ago, to be honest. I think it's about four years ago I got it. Uh, very nice inside. Next we have the works, the 2011 digital remaster. The back, from the back, front, the back, and the inside. Next we have Freddie Mercury, Mr. Bad Guy. This is the American version, released in 1985. Again, it's the same thing that happened with Live Killers. My mum, my mum thought it was just a normal version, you know. Here we have Queen, A Kind of Magic. This is the original 1986 cd uh, as extra tracks of a kind of a kind of magic friends bubble friends bubble friends and forever um so all that they're all like remixes next we have queen live magic i got some like cx um for quite a decent price i also found another one up here which i'll show you in a minute from cx both of them totaled up total to about 20 pounds so i was quite happy with that we have live magic here this is the original 1986 cd and here's the inside <coughs> and then we have the miracle this is the original 1989 cd with the extra tracks of hang on in there chinese torch and the invisible man 12 inch version it's the back and here's the inside next we have I'm going slightly mad. This is the only CD single I have. I wanted to get some more CD singles. Um, 
Yeah, but this is the only one I have. Inside it's quite Whoa! I didn't know that bended back so back. Um oh no, here's the inside, I guess. This like slides out. I don't know why you want to slide it out, but that is double the size. <laughs> Next we have Queen Innuendo, the 2011 Digital Remaster. And here is the inside. This is my second Queen CD I have. Had, had. It's Queen Great Hits 2. This is the more battered one because I think I played this one much more. Oh, look at that. The sticker marks all over it. All the front is cracked. The booklet is creased to death. It makes me want to be sick on my sick. That's how disgusting it is. Next we have the other one that I brought at uh, Sex. Sex. Here is the other one I brought at CEX. This is a uh, Queen Live at Wembley 86. This is the full Wembley set compared to the like shortened one for Live Killers. I think this is supposed to come with a booklet, but it didn't come with a booklet, so I'm quite disappointed in that. Uh, but at least I've got the CD, you know. Next we have the Freddie Mercury album, the original 1992 album. This is full of like remixes and that. And just normal songs as well. But some of the remixes are quite good, some of them not so much, but it's still a good album. Next we have Brian May Back to the Light, this is the original 1992 CD. I don't, I don't know why Brian May doesn't remaster his albums like Roger Taylor did. They aren't even even available on Spotify. But at least I got it I got one of his albums on CD. I don't have another world. Next we have Queen and George Michael and Lisa Stansfield with Five Live. This is the Hollywood Records American version. Same thing that happened with my mum again. That's right. Did you just see that? It just flipped jumped out. Here's the inside. Next we have Made in Heaven, the 2011 digital remaster. Another nicely presented remaster album thingy, whatever you want to call it. Next we have Queen Rocks. This is probably one of my favourite ever Queen compilations. Uh, I really like the versions used as well, like the uh, I Want It All. It's like a hybrid version between the single version and the album version. I'm really annoyed that the CD for this. Oh my gosh, stop falling out. I'm really annoyed that the CD for this uh, is scratched though, if you can see. Can't really see, but the CD's like scratched when I got it. So it, it wasn't my fault, it's their fault. Uh, so no one but you kept skipping. So I can't play the final track of the album. Which is a bit annoying. Next we have Queen Plus, Great Six Three. So these are all like collaboration songs and so, like yeah, not one of my favourite compilations. It, it's literally a mishmash of anything they could find because they're just running out of songs. To be honest, my idea like track listing for Great Six Three would be like all of the singles that weren't on the Great Six One and Great Six Two. If that doesn't fill all of the gaps, then I'll probably add um, some tribute concert tracks maybe, like I've done on it here, and maybe some solo tracks, I don't know. So next we have Queen and Paul Rogers, uh, Return of the Champions, this is another like super jewel case. So this is a live album from 2005. Here's the back. You have another compilation album. There's so much Queen compilation albums, but you have Queen Absolute Greatest. The, this is basically Great Six One and Great Six Two condensed into like one. Not my favourite compilation album. Here's the inside, it's got like a promotional thing for We Will Rock You here as well. Pull that out. It's got like a. It's got the booklet here. Here we have Queen's Deep Cuts 1, Deep Cuts 2 and Deep Cuts 3. Deep Cuts 1 has like a sticker on it. Here's the back. These are all the like Queen tracks that are like Deep Cuts basically. That's, that's 
that's it. Here's Deep Cuts 2. By the way, they've got some really nice pictures here on the front for these albums as well. It's annoying that I didn't release this compilation like on vinyl or something. I, I, I don't think they released it in the UK. I don't even know if they released it at all. And then finally we have Queen Deep Cuts 3. Next we have Queen Barcelona Special Edition, which is the 2012 release, not the 2019 release from last year for the Freud in Neverborn. But yeah, I'm not sure which, which of these which of these ones I prefer. I don't know if I prefer the original or the special edition. I want to get the special edition. I want to get the normal edition on CD, but uh here was Queen Forever. Another Queen compilation, you guessed it. These are all like the, the ballads and the love songs and all that on her. Here's the inside. Uh, I really want to get the deluxe edition of this because it's got some like, nice embossing on the front and that and some and digipack and that. So, yeah. Do you have Queen or not at the opera? Uh, yeah. Uh, every, everyone hates the front of this album like I, no one likes it really if you took freddy out i think it would improve on it a bit here's the inside the disc if you like hold it up to the light it has like the queen logo like spot glossed onto that which i like here's we have queen live at the rainbow 74 another concert and this one's digipack i think this is the deluxe edition i don't know if it's just released as a one cd i'm not sure it comes out like tri trifold. It comes with a booklet that comes in here. Here's the booklet. Then we next have Queen on Air. This is a nice one from the BBC sessions. That's the BBC sessions on here from 1973 to 1977. Nice trifold again with the booklet in the middle. Here's the booklet. Next we have Queen, Freddie Mercury Messenger of the Gods. This is like all the singles and B-sides. Again, this is presented in a trifold with the booklet in the middle. This is actually the Never Boring cover. Here, which is used for the Never Boring. And here is the cover. And then last but not least, the last ever Queen CD I got. I really should get more, but I haven't, I haven't got a Queen CD in like two years now. I've been focusing on vinyl, but we have got Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, the official soundtrack by Queen, obviously. There's some good, good, some good songs here, some surprise songs when the track list was revealed and the album was revealed. And here's the inside. So that has been it for my Queen CD collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, please leave a dislike. And I will see you in the next video.